hello as you can see I am not in my normal setup I'm actually in a hotel room in Vegas at the MGM Grand at the Microsoft Power Platform Conference and there were five announcements made at the keynote today which I wanted to share with you so we're recording live from here on my phone <laughs> hopefully the quality is okay huge announcement around Power Apps Copilot. We have seen a little bit of this before. So an earlier announcement, we had one where it's the experience for being able to chat with your data, being able to use a copilot to help you build up. So we've seen those parts before. What we saw today was the announcement of all of that in Public Preview Plus, an amazing level up. You can extend that copilot using Power Virtual Agents. So what we saw in the keynote demo was the ability to go in and actually extend it by adding a website link. So imagine you've got your copilot down the side of your Power App. You can use that to query the data so the user can say, you know, how many vehicles are out for lease this month or whatever it is and query your data. But you can then also, if the answer isn't in the data but it's on your website, it will return the answer from your website knowledge with, of course, the little footnote reference that we see in all of these things. We've also seen that Copilot for Power Pages is now available in Preview as well. This is something that's going to make it much, much easier to design and build websites. You can use it to basically describe to design. You can use it to ask for the color palette for the brand you're working with. And again, it's connected out to the internet and it can return the color palette and help you do that very rapid design. The biggest cheer in the room <laughs> came for Power Automate Copilot becoming generally available. Surprisingly enough though, of all of this AI stuff and it is all very much about AI, that wasn't the biggest cheer. So Power Automate Copilot described the flow that you want to build in natural language, really sophisticated stuff, and it actually builds it out for you. So this is really leveling down that experience to even more users, democratizing that so that more people can build those flows. And I think this one's actually really critical for those productivity workloads where people wanna do things like notifications and automations in their day-to-day -day work. However, <laughs> the other piece of this Power Automate Copilot general availability announcement is a new designer, the new experience of the actual flow builder, and it is lovely. It had a zoom in, zoom out function, a new piece where you add your dynamic content, and that, from the whole keynote, 6,000 people in a stadium, got the biggest cheer of anything and was highly amusing. So Power Automate Copilot generally available to do, describe it, to build it, as well as this new fabulous designer. The Power Up program is something that's been helping people make career change and skill. And as someone myself who uh, about seven years ago made a career change into Power Platform, I'm absolutely delighted to see this kind of program helping others make that career change. And we saw an announcement today that that is now going to be available for groups to participate as well. So it's only been for individuals in the past. Now you can bring your whole work group together and train as a group, graduate as a group. So if you're trying to bring your workforce on board with Power platform and low code in your organization that is one to look out for and then process mining co-pilot for process mining now process mining is under the power automate uh, banner it's not something I've looked very closely at but what it actually does is allows you to connect to a data source and then analyze what's going on so if you've got the example we saw today was a bunch of insurance claims we connect up to that data and there are like 463 different paths that go this way and that way and this is designed to give you a model and an understanding and reporting on what's going on with your process inside a business, which hopefully replaces the need to do days and days and days of interviews with business users, asking them how the process works and what goes wrong with it, where not everyone can actually accurately describe that or get a complete picture of it. So this is a tool that can do that for you. The co-pilot piece though, <laughs> as always, brings it to another level. So what we saw here is that the co-pilot comes in and just lists off those insights for you and giving you those top insights of what's going on with your process analysis. This was pitched as your management consultant sitting alongside you. So the idea here is that if you wanna do that kind of process analysis, this is a tool that is gonna be able to get to that result a whole lot quicker. Everything here today has been about Copilot and AI. It is very clear that the Microsoft direction is around saying, let's have the next wave of low code. The Power Platform opened up a whole way of bringing more people into developing apps and that's been a huge success, but this is the next wave of it. This democratizes it even further. 
opens it up to even more people to participate. This is going to be big. <laughs> it is getting quite pacey to keep up. I'm going to keep you up to date on this channel. I am very much into this AI and co-pilot stuff and what does this mean for the way that work is changing for all of us. Hit me up with any questions, comments, thoughts in the, uh, in the comments below. Cheers from Las Vegas and thanks for watching.